play as he gets it done by submission tonight. Just So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy wants to me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, if you're looking for one fighter in an alley to save your life, you could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts and tonight trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true, one of, if not the best middleweight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Three years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo the Eraser Costa! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Throws the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Single collar tie now. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Cost. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Let's try it. Let's try it. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Land 
Edwards with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, side control now. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful oh. hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another so strike nice lands with the trip there. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tight arm bar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go through the finish. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Muay Thai plump. Oh! He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ooh. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, good movement by him here on the... Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Third round underway. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice strike landed there by Costa. Yeah, he's mixed it all. This might be the biggest. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes. Nice Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Costa. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. All right, dominant position for him. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There it is. So he taps out oh, due to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling. Work. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live the fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Hobbs and Bors Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.